Humeral shaft fracture treatment. A patient with humeral shaft fracture can have an associated radial nerve palsy with wrist drop. And as a general concept, if the fracture is closed, you observe the nerve, which will get better in about 85% of the time in three to four months. If the fracture is open, you explore the nerve. There's a special type of humeral shaft fracture called holistine lewis fracture. It is an oblique fracture of the distal third of the humerus, and it will have very high incidence of radial nerve palsy, 22%. The treatment of humeral shaft fracture is usually without surgery in the majority of cases. And the non-operative treatment usually gives satisfactory outcome. And perfect alignment is not necessary to achieve acceptable functional outcome. The patient is usually treated by coaptation splint for one to two weeks. Make sure that it is applied over the shoulder. The fracture may go in various, then improve the fracture alignment or add abduction pillow to correct the varus. Then you change the splint to humeral functional brace. And you can apply that in one to two weeks when the swelling resolves. Don't give the patient slang and the gravity should help aligning the fracture. The patient is allowed to use the arm for activities. The non-surgical treatment is usually adequate for the majority of humeral shaft fracture. Most humeral shaft fracture will heal with non-surgical treatment. The fracture usually heals within 8 to 12 weeks with an acceptable result. Hanging arm cast is occasionally used when the fracture is shortened. How the brace works. The functional brace works by providing hydraulic compressive forces applied uniformly throughout the diaphyseal segment of the humerus. It applies counter pressure from all angles to keep the humerus aligned during elbow flexion and extension. The brace covers the arm from the shoulder to the elbow, but it will leave motion of both of these joints free. The patient should tighten the brace at the swelling subsides and they should wear the brace until the fracture heals. The patient will do an active, non-weight bearing exercise of the elbow and of the hand and wrist and will do pendulum exercises for the shoulder, which gradually will progress to weight bearing at six weeks. 90% of the patient will heal with conservative treatment, but it is hard to control proximal third fracture. Various angulation is common, but it usually does not have a functional problem. You're going to make sure you check the alignment in the x-rays. It should be less than 30 degree of varus of valgus, less than 20 degree anterior posterior angulation, and no more than two to three centimeter shortening. That is an acceptable alignment. If the patient has radial nerve palsy, you will treat the patient conservatively with the functional brace and you observe the patient for return of radial nerve function. You may want to get early EMG and nerve studies at six weeks. Then at six weeks, this is a golden time you decide to do clinical exam for fracture stability and you check the x-rays for callus. If you find that the fracture moves and lack of callus formation, this fracture is gonna go to a non-union. Then you probably need to fix that fracture and you can fix it with a plate or a rod, but plating is probably better than a rod. Plating probably result in a higher rate of union. If you have no motion at the fracture at six weeks and you have callus formation in the x-ray, the patient will go to healing and union. Then you don't need to do the surgery. Surgery is done if the reduction cannot be obtained or maintained. 
you do surgery in humeral shaft fracture and floating elbow in an open fracture and in multiple trauma, plating will allow early weight bearing through full crutch walking. So how do you do the surgery? You can do plating or you can do a rod. The plate is better. 30% of shoulder pain with humeral nailing. The operation rates are higher with arm rotting. How do you do the surgical approach for a plate? You do the anterolateral approach for proximal to mid humerus fracture. And it is extension of the deltopectoral approach. The deltopectoral approach is used for proximal humeral fractures. Then the anterior brachial split incision for middle third humeral fracture. You find the radial nerve between the brachialis and brachioradialis. Posterior approach is used for the distal third. The radial nerve will be about 10 centimeter proximal to the radiocapitular joint. You need an absolute stability for the fracture. Use the plate as a bridge plate in comminuted fracture. You can do crutch full weight bearing with plates better than an iron rods. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.